Baker won the Academy Award for West Side Story. He has been a good friend of Marilyn Remembered and his peers, Marilyn and Jennifer Blondes, and her business like Chosen's, and How to Marry a Millionaire. My great pleasure to introduce to you George Chikaris. spoke to her, but I did get to be around her a few times, all, uh, and I was left with an impression, of course. Uh, the first time I was around her was, uh, I, w I was one of the guys behind her in the uh, Diamonds Are Girls' Best Friend number from General Furbons, a pretty great number choreographed by Jack Cole, her favorite choreographer. But the thing I remember uh, working on that movie, we rehearsed for a few weeks, and we filmed for three days. <clears throat> And over those three days, uh, well, not watching her, but remembering what she was like working those three days, she was very quiet. She didn't engage in conversation with anybody. And when they called cut for any reason, she didn't look in the mirror. She didn't go to her dressing room. She went right back to her starting position to start again. I think that says a lot about it. It's a very small kind of thing to notice, but I think it speaks of her work ethic to begin with. Um, the other one other, I was also one of the uh, dancers in the, There's No Business Like Show Business, and of course Marilyn was one of the stars. Um, and at the end of rehearsal day, for some reason there was a big sort of cocktail party uh, in the rehearsal hall, and all the kids were invited to, so we got to be there. And I was there with a glass of wine talking to Priscilla Davis, one of the dancers, uh, my partner on that movie, and uh, Marilyn arrived quietly with uh, two gentlemen, and uh, she was very simply dressed. And Drusilla, my partner, said, uh, why don't I ask her to give you a kiss on the cheek? And they said, no, no. Well, Drusilla was, she did it anyway. <laughs> she went over to Marilyn, who was with, within her shop, she wasn't that far away. And she said, would you give the boy a kiss on the cheek? <laughs> and Marilyn, I think, very sweetly and very nicely looked in my direction. And she looked back at her still and she said, but I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> I think that says something about her too. And uh, one other little story that I'll, I'll share with you is uh, on, uh, there's no business like show business. So one of the numbers that Marilyn eventually did do was and, and that was the heat wave number, which is a pretty great number. The uh, choreographer who was uh, contracted to do all the musical numbers on that film was a man whose name was Robert Alton, who had an extraordinary reputation. He had, was involved, I and mean, this will give you some clues to how wonderful he was. One of his movies at MGM was Easter Parade, so he did some, and it, uh, he was a very hot uh, and important Broadway choreographer as well. So he was contracted to do all the numbers of the numbers. It's like show business. But Marilyn wanted Jack Cole for the heat wave number. So out of respect uh, to Marilyn, and Bob Alton had no problem with that, he decided he would create a number for her, and she could look at it and see what he, he, what, what he would do for her if he choreographed that number. So uh, Robert Alton's uh, assistant, John Bailey, learned for his version of, of, of uh, the heat number what Marilyn would be doing. And, uh, and they also got four guys to be around Marilyn, so I got to be one of the guys on that. Um, so um, it took him about four weeks to create this number for her, and after four weeks or so, she came in alone. I love that, she came in alone. She didn't have an I mean, she was by herself. Uh, she came in quietly very politely, very courteous, and she sat down, and we did the number for her. And when she left, she thanked everybody, and, uh, and Jack Cole did the number. Oh, and, no! And uh, the reason I love that story is because I think it speaks to her instinct, which I think was profound and strong, and really, uh, uh, she listened to her instinct. And I, I've always admired what I thought was that about her, because, um, Sometimes young people will ask you for uh, 
advice, and I would say, this would be your instinct, because I think of her now. Anyway, those are my stories for today. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm so glad to be here with uh, all of you. We all love and respect, respect, respect Marilyn Monroe, because she was, uh, there are never enough words to describe how extraordinary and, and uh, uh, how extraordinary she was. Anyway, I'm so glad to be here with all of you. Thank you. Thank you.